Hey Aquarius, this is Essential Empress with your July love reading. <coughs> I'm not about to start. No. Okay, so may peace and blessings be upon you. Protect your energy, clear your energy. Okay, the collective has been getting that message, y'all. A lot of people, a lot of people are coming into awareness of the lessons that are being bestowed upon them okay some are seeing them as blessings because you know you know Aquarius especially all right and we got the Saturn retrograde we got these two full moons coming up we got Leo season we got this lion's gate y'all it's time to get right okay so may peace and blessings be upon you all again we're gonna get into it and see what messages we have for you in love but like the other signs, all aspects, spirit just been letting people know, okay, whether it's in love, business, you know, I'm getting more of the contractual commitment type energy because the higher font been coming out, the ten of pentacles has been coming out, the justice, the hermit, separation energy, all of that, y'all. So, especially the devil. <laughs> Because there's been a lot of ascension, there's been a lot of healing, so you know how to go. So let's see what messages we have. Please take what resonates with you and leave the rest, okay? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. I told you, clear it out. It's soon, look, y'all. Blessings. Blessings, okay? Look. And I was going to say, a lot of y'all are stepping into this energy yourselves. You're loving on yourselves more. You're showing yourself more love. And it's allowing you to get out of the two of swords energy. I like this, y'all. I can I can dig it. With, especially with you and Virgo and Gemini. You know, air signs especially. Okay, Pisces and Sagittarius been getting that swords energy lately. But for y'all to have the two of swords, I like it a lot better than the eight of swords that's been popping out. And all of the nine and ten that y'all been having. Because it looks like y'all have made a decision going forward yeah and i'm you know what y'all <laughs> it's like regardless of what is here what is being presented to you you're still able to really bask in the moment really embrace what's going on okay and again it's like i see this gnat but it's like you can still <laughs> choose i'm hearing you're choosing love regardless of what is You're not you're not even entertaining the low vibrations anymore. Y'all have made a clear decision. This is all vibing high. Okay? And what is being given to you, what you're giving your time and your energy to, and I'm hearing even your money. I feel like this is the minimum. The ace of cups. Mm. Let's see what messages we have. And I feel like y'all are gonna be blessed with more opportunity and I'm hearing opportunity for wish fulfillment. Well, I'm just now noticing the heart there at the top of the cup. It's like your heart's desire. There's going to be an overflow. Okay? And y'all been getting that energy. Even Scorpio's been getting that energy. Okay? So let's see. What messages do we have underlying? Y'all, what did I tell you? That's exactly what we just talked about. All three cards summarized. Okay? And it's like, first of all, I told you overflow. Okay, you getting out of this energy, you having victory over the swords, over this. You remember when it came out in that mother piece? That was so strong. It was so strong. And y'all been having this energy around loosening your grip and putting your pride aside and maybe even spending a little money to invest in what it is that you want. Okay, some of y'all are stepping into something Leo season. There's going to be a lot of celebration. There's going to be a lot of love. All right. And y'all are choosing. I'm here and choosing to be free emotionally and mentally. All right. I'm so excited for y'all. I'm so excited. What? Claim it. Yes. God bless. Okay. So let's see. Message. What messages do we have overlaying the reading? Look. I just got the 10. It's like, it is. I told you. Consistent. It's becoming consistent. You know why? Because I feel like a lot of y'all may still even be in this energy of you know, not making a decision or having to look at something from a different perspective because there may be some type of hold up. But y'all keeping this Ten of Pentacles on your mind. All right, not no set, not no Ten of Swords, not no Nine of Swords. If so, this is overriding it. Okay, because 
it's, it's it's just the fact, you know, the energy that you have internally reflects on the outside. Okay, so I feel like a lot of y'all have gotten out of this worry, this I can't get out of my situation. You're like, oh, I'm going to get out. And when I do, you know, and spirit is like that. Okay, like spirit's like, I like this attitude. I love I love how you love it on you. So let's, you know, let's, let's reciprocate some things. Let me show you, you know, that your faith and look, I'm so excited for y'all. What's this? Look at that. It, you know, regardless, regardless, this can't come. You can't move forward, okay, with the Six of Swords in reverse. You cannot move forward being in this energy, okay? But you have victory leads to you. What worries, okay? Why do y'all think a long term? Look at that. Wish fulfillment, okay? And I'm also hitting. There's a child here. Okay, but I feel like a lot of y'all are getting passionate. There's about to be something that you get into that you love, all right? There's somebody's happy about a new start to a new beginning, okay? A new relationship, a new start, a new chapter, all right? I'm excited. Let's see. What other men? We all. Yeah, yeah, because I'm getting this is somebody that you are interested in building with. You, like, you can trust this person with your money, clearly. Okay, and giving and receiving, there's something going on. I'm hearing worth the investment with the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. All right, somebody could be dealing with an um, Earth sign. I'm getting Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. All right, but I'm also getting be mindful of overindulgence because I'm getting that second house Taurus energy of values. All right, so see, confirmation. Uh, okay, so be mindful of that because I'm getting what you give to. Yeah, be mindful of. There's some overindulgence here, some um, not, or being quick to react, okay? Maybe somebody trying to get a reaction out of you, someone is arrogant, but just be mindful because it can affect the long run, but it's okay. So what do we need to know about the hang one? What do we need to know about the hang one? Because I'm getting, this is you looking at it, yeah, okay, so there's, somebody's got to be mindful of their emotions. All right, and what they react to. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. And, okay, impulsive spending. Okay, be mindful of what you give your money to impulsively. There's some type of desire here. There's I'm hearing. Okay, so look and see what Taurus is in your chart, y'all, because that yeah that does square your sign. Okay, and you got that fixed sign energy, Scorpio, all of that. Like Aquarius, you're already in. Saturn retrograde, which is lessons, you know, having to reflect, review, clear karmic energy again, yeah. So, see, see, reconcile some things. Reconcile, I'm here, an inner child. Well, um, yeah, there's unfinished business. Okay, so I see why y'all are like, you know, like I'm not going to be stuck. I'm not going to give. Yeah, y'all are ready for something new. You're not giving to just anything, okay? Let's see. What messages do we have? What do you want my Aquarius to be aware of? What would you like my Aquarius to see? Wow. You know what? You know what, y'all? The star sign's been popping out for, um, like, it seems like a lot of the collective and, and even in the personals, okay? But you got the star card. You got the strength here, too. Okay, Aquarius and Leo energy. And then you got Aquarius. <laughs> Star energy, you focusing on you, pouring into your dreams, investing in your dreams. Something that y'all are emotional about is what I'm hearing, okay? Or a spirit is saying that it's going to be lucrative to tap in, so y'all need to tap into your why, okay? But that also is the strength energy. Some of y'all are really, I love it, Leo energy, okay? Y'all being a lion about it, all right? And it's just having the courage to even sacrifice old ways of thinking with the two of swords and having conviction there's this discipline there's this dedication I, mean, I keep getting to how you are investing in you okay because this ten of man this ten of pentacles i'm loving it all right and then you got the three of wands here you're focused on the long term okay some of y'all are being patient you're waiting for your shifts to come in you know that what it is that you're doing now is worth it I'm hearing it's necessary, it's essential, okay? Wow. 
Let's see. What messages do you have? What else? What else would you like Aquarius to be aware of? Look at that. I know that's right. What? Okay, you got the three of swords in reverse, but also spirit is saying be aware of holding on to it because that will be the delay. Is what I'm getting. Okay, so some of y'all may be waiting for your ships to come in, but also holding on to you know some type of separation instead of just seeing it for what it is. Is what I'm getting. All right. So spirit is really highlighting this um, strength card, having strength, having some type of convic conviction, boundary, and discipline. Of, yeah, conviction, integrity. Is he, ooh, yeah, okay. Be mindful of picking up too much of other people's energy or picking up. I'm here picking up what you've thrown away. All right, oh, shoot. What do we need to know about the three of swords for my Aquarius spirit? Yeah, now I know that came out reverse. Look at that. <laughs> you know, like upright, somebody can be, you know, always trying to control things. This can be somebody very attractive or wanting um, to show. Okay, also, look, a player energy, but in reverse, like somebody is like, you know, I'm game over, but I, at the same time, yeah, somebody's ego. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's why. Game over. <laughs> You got the page of cups and the empress when you're presented with someone who yeah you want to build with you want y'all are aware you are becoming very aware okay so there's an apology here okay somebody may be coming in to apologize but i see someone going into the past and then you waiting for something let's see okay oh, look at that y'all that's why i was like why all of a sudden somebody was bringing up the past and then you got the five of wands here Okay, so there may be some conflict that has somebody in this King of Wands and Three of Swords in reverse. So somebody wants is stopping someone from moving forward. Is what I'm getting. Okay, because you got the Six of Wands. There's victory. There's the promise. Definitely. Okay, because somebody clearly made a decision. All right, and it's constantly on their mind. Is what I'm getting with the. Oh uh, yeah, y'all stay with that Swords energy. If that was the Eight of Swords here. Okay, but now there's some conflict around moving forward because somebody's waiting. All right, with the three of wands here. All right, but there's some patience. But I still, like, I hear yes. I hear good news going forward, all right? So what do you want my Aquarius to be aware of when it comes to this five of wands and this delay? What do you want my Aquarius to be aware of? Ooh, we up. Spirit said it's necessary. Okay, this is that emotional cleanup, all right? So we talking about clearing energy, but at the same time, the detachment, the awareness, and the decision, the obedience, okay? Virgo got that energy, you know, around what can no longer come with you. Okay, y'all are tapping into your pur purpose, and at the same time, you're realizing something is no longer fulfilling emotionally, or it doesn't have any depth. Is what I'm getting with the Eight of Cups here, because that's that's that energy, and y'all are in your King of Cups. You're not in your Page of Cups. Okay, so some of y'all may have been in this in the past. You was cool with, you know, just a little love, a little something, you know, but now y'all wanting something um, beneath the surface as well, something beyond the superficial with the Eight of Cups here. And look, y'all, I know that's right. Okay, a lot of Scorpio energy too. All right, so let's see. What is the overall message? Look, yeah, there's a complete ending and a, a whole new beginning coming up next. All right, that's the Ace of Swords type energy, like the truth, the clarity, that epiphany, that y'all one more overall i'm so excited okay it's gonna be somebody ooh. <laughs> i was gonna say somebody gonna be mad okay if it may be something said with the ten of wands here. oh ooh, i said the ten of wands yeah so people feeling guilty okay maybe saying some things all right but look yeah gonna be no regrets on your end five of cups in reverse because i, I really get that y'all are choosing that y'all choosing this eight of cups energy all right, so let's see. Oh, wow. Wow. This is all we need to talk about. Now I'm talking about that was the last. And it look, see? What burdens? I like these tens and fives, y'all. I love it. Okay, you got the ten of wands in reverse. You got the ten of swords here and the ten of pentacles. All right, and the ten of cups. You got all of them. All right, so it's definitely new beginnings. So you're about to have four aces. Okay, and if we talking fives, y'all, it's going to be five. Okay, I'm so excited for y'all. I'm so excited. So, 
peace and blessings keep me updated y'all especially by the end of the year okay and i'll see you all again soon take care bye